what's their position to it? How, you know, could you extrapolate? Speaking from experience, I can only say this for sure. There are humans who monitor abductees, who have interrogated abductees, who have abducted abductees, and either through drugs or electronic controls, uh, made them vulnerable to questioning, and then tried to erase most memory of the event. And usually there are physical after effects. There's a grogginess, there's sometimes a nausea. Um, it's, it's sometimes very physically there after the event happens. Whether they're involved actively with the aliens in doing this or with a group of aliens, we, we theorize because we get reports of and ourselves see alien entities with the military people. But to what extent they are cooperative or coercive, we don't know. ETs have said they control the military in some instances. We don't know if that's true or not. They lie. It seems to me that they began monitoring when they became aware of this. Obviously, they began monitoring abduction activity. We know, I have one case in my new book, Taken, that goes back to 1954, where military sequestered an entire family on a farm for four days after they had had alien encounters on the farm. So we know they were doing it at least that far back. It seems to me that they worked very hard, scrambled very hard to try to duplicate the technology, not only the, the technology for craft and the technology of other sorts, but also the mind control technology. And I think they've got, done pretty well in catching up enough to do some terrible things with this technology. They may think they're doing it for national security purposes, to glean information that's necessary. But I, I know to a person, if any government agency really involved in this wanted our information from any abductees, every one of them would be happy to offer it without being abducted, drugged, and threatened. We're, we would give the information. They just don't want us to know they're taking it.